it's four in the morning on the golden anniversary of Earth Day. Well, it's technically 51 years since the modern environmental movement kicked off, but technically 2020 was a washout. So it's only good and proper that we are celebrating the big birthday today. And since this is the Evo India channel, everything that we do has to revolve around cars. Now, before we go ahead, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you enjoy this video. And back to cars, one of the earliest campaigns of Earth Day was to get lead out of petrol. That initial movement, it led a voice and impetus to the growing environmental consciousness. And today, it is one of the biggest movements in the world, marked by more than a billion people as a day of action. Action is happening in India and all over the world. One of the major things that the India Trust is working on is green energy. And that's where we are headed. So it's only appropriate that we start off in full EV mode. Toyota self-charging hybrids don't depend on charging infrastructure and that means you don't need to worry about plugging in to charge the batteries. And you get pin drop silence. Now, you get this energy monitor on the center console which actually tells you what's happening with the energy. So, right now, I'm using pure electric energy. So you can see from the batteries, the energy is flowing to the electric motors and to the front wheel. So I'm running on pure electric power. That means zero emission driving. Right now, I've got my foot off the gas and this is actually charging the battery. So you see the energy flow back into the batteries. I step on the gas, again, electric mode, step on the gas a little harder and now the petrol engine kicks in. Now, as you can see, the petrol engine is actually sending power to both the front wheels as well as power from the batteries are going to the front wheels. So the energy flows in both directions and that's what they call the self-charging hybrid technology where the electric motor and the batteries are charged while you are driving. You don't have to stop and charge it. The Camry Hybrid is an obvious choice for an Earth Day drive. Now, over the years, Toyota has arguably done more to reduce its carbon footprint than any other manufacturer. The Prius, it was the first clean green car that really put these kind of vehicles on the map. And then over the years, 26 years, Toyota has sold more than 16 million electrified vehicles, saved over 139 million tons of CO2, and also saved over 52 million liters of petrol. That is a serious saving. So what are the benefits of the self-charging hybrid technology? First off, there is the powertrain refinement. Right now, via the energy monitor, I can see that the engine is being employed. But I can't hear it and I cannot feel it. The refinement of this powertrain is absolutely amazing. Then there are the technologies that have been deployed on the Camry Hybrid it gets active start-stop. So right now, while cruising, the highway is slightly downhill and the engine is not being used at all. On the MID, you can also make out that this is now in pure EV mode and that means zero emissions. And in fact, this works better in the city. So tests on the Indian driving cycle have shown that a car like the Camry Hybrid, it runs for 60% of the time on pure EV mode. And that means for 60% of the time in the city, the Camry Hybrid is emitting zero emissions. It teaches you and encourages you to drive in a more economical fashion. So on the multi-information display, you get this eco zone readout, which also gives you a score for your efficiency rating. You swipe that, 
and there you have a graph that shows you the fuel economy i'm getting 23.5 kilometers of the liter and this is me driving and i've been known to have a heavy right foot i'm doing a average cruising speed in the triple digits yet it's giving me this kind of fuel efficiency which is quite amazing Our drive from Bengaluru takes us all the way down to the southernmost tip of India, Kanyakumari. But en route, we are stopping off at India's largest wind energy project. Welcome to India's largest wind farm. This is the Mupandal Wind Farm which is strategically located just off the coast of Kanyakumari and takes advantage of all the strong sea breeze. In fact, this is not the season for power generation. That starts a month later and then all the windmills that you see here, over 1000 of them all are spinning up and creating clean, green, sustainable energy. This one location, it generates the maximum wind power in India over 1500 megawatts. While thermal still constitutes 61.5% of India's power generation, wind energy is now up to 10% and growing rapidly. And a significant chunk of that is produced here at the Mupandal wind farm. A side benefit of the 1000 windmills dotted all over the countryside is that it makes for a truly spectacular sight. Of course, this is Evo India and we have to mention performance. So the Camry Hybrid, it does get this sport mode. So that uses all the power of the 2.5 litre petrol engine as well as the electric motor to deliver 175 bhp. In sport mode, the throttle responses are crisp and eager. And when you step on it, it really does move. And it does sound sporty. You also get paddle shifters for the CVT gearbox. I must also talk about this highway which is actually excellent. So starting all the way from Bengaluru and going all the way down to Kanyakumari, 650 odd kilometers, it is a beautiful dual carriageway that ends right at land's end of India. So right at Kanyakumari, at the tip of India, this four lane highway ends. It really is one of the nicer ones in the country. Dawn in Bengaluru and dusk at the Triveni Sangam. This is the confluence of the Indian Ocean, the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal. Now usually a 700 km day would leave us really exhausted but not with the Camry Hybrid. It is quick, it is extremely refined and thanks to the self-charging hybrid technology, extremely fuel efficient as well. Plus, unlike other eco cars, this one, there is no range anxiety. So you can hit the road for long road trips and discover the strides India is making in terms of generation of clean, green energy. Thus paving a path towards a sustainable future where you can breathe in the fresh ocean breeze and the clear blue skies. Thank you guys for watching our Earth Day special. What did you do on Earth Day? Let us know in the comments below and stay safe.